What is going on YouTube? One on the XRM here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're outside of Crown Concepts. We're gonna go check out some of the amazing things they have going on in this place. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to see this, so stick around. That's a part of Crown Concepts is this area here, which is a concierge showroom, stuff is for sale and uh, storage. Uh, I believe some of these are actually Jim Click's cars. Starting out, we got a 1966 Ford GT40 Mark I. There's one of 31 and this is one of those that actually got turned into a marketing car pretty much. Now after traveling from US to UK to Australia and then back to the US, this is how she ended up being finished up and painted. Love the color, love the livery of this thing. Look how low this bad boy is. Oh man, look at this interior. This reminds me a lot of almost an A10 cockpit, just really old school, antiquated, but they have everything you need. And then of course the guillotine doors that'll just snap your head off as it closes. <laughs> Hal Jeremy Clarkson owned one, I have no idea at that height. Uh, check out this sweet 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. And there's actually three of them. And this is the only remaining survivor of that whole season that they had 1969 to 1971. That tells you how rare this particular vehicle is. You know, I'm not a huge Mustang fan, but I love this body style, I love this year. Sixty-four Shelby 289 Competition Cobra. Easily one of the coolest, coolest and most iconic cars that Carroll Shelby, you know, had that hand in making and making this thing gorgeous. Even the paint's still amazing. And this is, again, a race car and looks this freaking good. So here's a little gem that uh, most people may not know. It's a 1965 Cheetah. You know, this thing was straight up made for the track. You know, most of them are all replicas now. So it's a beautifully, beautifully built from scratch car to make look and drive like the, old, the original, but honestly, probably better because there's some newer technology in it. This bad boy is supposed to compete against that bad boy. <laughs> Unfortunately, the project never really came to fruition and kind of, you know, what could have been, what should have been, but I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful piece of history nonetheless. Where the magic happens. I get to annoy all these people. <laughs> by filming them while I walk around. What's really fascinating about this shop is obviously not only does it work on just any car, it's really a true performance shop. I mean, they have race cars use Radical. Yep, we're, we're uh, like an authorized Radical repair center. Look at this room that these guys get to work in. Amazing. And that's just one part of this shop here. You wanna go powder coating? Sure, come on in the Crown Concepts. You know, as a mechanic, this is one of the things you wish you could do is have a shop that's all inclusive. And this is exactly that. And on this side of the building is where all the extra ponies are put. <laughs> so this is the area where the performance development and stuff like that happens. Yeah. Awesome. Now you obviously had the performance development area. Now we can't have that without the sweet dyno are they dynoing this bad boy? You know, you never know. It could be 600 horsepower, you don't know. <laughs> what uh, dyno do you guys use? It's a Mustang dyno. This is the Heartbreak dyno. Mustang, everyone thinks they have high horsepower numbers until they put on one of these and they realize they don't. Got this awesome machine shop area. Say you have a control arm that just keeps breaking and you need it designed a different way. These guys can make that part 
for your car specifically. To have that in one place is truly remarkable. So this is what a 1968 Mustang that's going through a full resto model looks like in a shop that pretty much creates everything for them. You know, this is the original 427 engine, but obviously it's been modified and made into modern times with fuel injection. The other thing, you got this awesome suspension here. So obviously disc brakes, those are definitely not of the era, but that's part of the resto mod. Really the interesting stuff is back here because the suspension had to be modified in order to fit this car because obviously this car doesn't come with an independent rear suspension so to be able to do that these guys fabricated every piece to get it to fit on here it's really really great work and as you see it's completely gutted at the moment but they have an interior coming and then here's my bread and butter right here these little green white red all these little guys the wiring yeah that's the stuff i love to do that rat's nest uh-huh <laughs> it's going to be a beauty. How cool is that freaking shop? What, talk about an all-inclusive area. Such an amazing, amazing place. You know, if you want a car tuned, bring it here. If you want a car fully built, heck, bring it here. I'd like to thank Chris over here at Crown Concepts for showing me around. Thanks everybody for inside, for being so cool, for allowing me to shoot around. I know it's annoying because you got this camera in your face, you're trying to work, but hey, you guys are awesome. This place, this shop is amazing. And I encourage all of you to come check it out, Crown Concepts. Down the link below is their website. Come check them out. I'll also put their Instagram down there. With that, you all have a good one. I'm out.